Hello my friends, a very good morning. May the Holy Spirit enlighten the understanding of each of you who are interested in protecting your salvation. Jesus said the following, For what profit is it for a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Who wins? When a man wins the whole world, if he can, in reality, who wins, the body or the soul? Who? Who enjoys the benefits of riches? It is the flesh. Your soul through the flesh. The soul will utilize the body to have the benefits of the whole world. But the body will reach a point where it will need to go down the grave and the soul will remain alive. So he says, what's the point of satisfying the flesh, the body, and put your soul aside? And what will a man give in exchange for his soul? So you see that it's so strong that in the parable of that rich man who reaped much fruit and said to his soul, he said to his soul, Soul, you have many goods laid up for many years, not for eternity, but for many years. Now, take your ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, Fool, this night your soul will be required of you. Then whose will those things be which you have provided? You die, everything ends. When the body dies, the, the friendships end, the money ends, the treasure ends, the glory, the honor which man conquered here in this world. What about the soul? God considers those who despise their souls as fools, those who don't give the little bit of attention to their soul, those who want to tend to their desires, lusts, vanities, covetousness of the soul and don't take care of it. And what is the result? Look at the result. People are here, afflicted, depressed, people are anxious, people are in doubt, people are afraid, people are shocked, people are, we can say, unbalanced. And how can these people be happy? Never, ever, at any moment. There is no marriage, no man, no conquest, no honor, nothing material which can make a person happy or a soul happy. If not, when the soul is saved, or better, when the soul enters in peace with God, when the soul has peace with God, when the soul is surrendered to the God Most High because the soul was not made to suffer. The soul was not made to weep. The soul was not made to be depressed or anguished. No, the soul was made to be happy and to live for all eternity with his Creator. God created the soul and gave us spirit which is intelligence that we may take care of the soul. This is very precious. 
but the fools and hard-headed in a more popular language the fools take care of the body and put their souls aside and think that this thing of salvation is just for the elderly fool this night your soul will be requested what will you do who will ask for your soul or the soul of the rich man in the case of the parable this is a parable it's not a fact as the case of the rich man and Lazarus so my friend Jesus said watch and pray to watch is to take care to watch what we only watch over something which is rich and precious the most valuable jewels are kept in museums and safes and safe boxes money which is invested in the bank lands houses mansions are watched over by securities but Jesus said watch and what what did he say watch and watch over what the body the houses to watch over the houses watch over the treasures of this world no he told us to watch the most precious thing which we have which is our soul you can be the poorest in this world the ugliest in this world the most despised in this world you can be the last of all creation you can be a piece of meat in this world but your soul is so precious so precious but so precious that it is disputed between God and the devil God did his part to conquer he gave the life the soul of his son the devil gave nothing the devil wants to take the soul the David wants to maintain the human soul with him because it already is everyone who sinned fell from the mercy grace and compassion of God so when you watch you care for your soul you care for it as the apple of your eye you will preserve it for all eternity with God watch when a woman gives birth to a child she is always taking care of that child watching all the time she doesn't leave the child because the child that any need it might have she is ready is it not like this very well your soul is worth more than your child it is worth more than everything you have because your soul is eternal if it will be eternal with God or in the lake of fire in brimstone which is the second death you decide watch watch and pray first watch why did Jesus command us to watch because we need to preserve this soul which he gave us which is saved when it's not saved a person despises the soul when he does not have a relationship with God he's not bothered he wants to enjoy as others will say so you who desire to save your soul take care of it as the apple of your eye take care of it because taking care of your soul you show fear towards God in fact 
the fear towards the Lord which you have and I have which we all have towards God is reflected in this constant watch in regards to our soul for us to not let it fall in temptation watch and pray that you do not enter in temptation you do not enter in temptation take care of your soul if you feel that is that it is inclined to sin to evil to something which will make you run the risk then flee from it get close to god and remain firm do not allow your soul to lead you you have spirit meaning you have intelligence you have the capacity of reason to protect this soul with obedience to the word of god god bless you until tomorrow in the name of the lord jesus